When you think tap, you think Maurice Hines. And now you are going to get to see this legendary man dance and hear his stories. We have a chance to talk to him. I am so excited to meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure to meet you, too. I started off doing tap with Willie Covan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so you know what you're talking about. <laughs> How wonderful. Now, you have so many stories. Of all the shows that you performed in, what was your favorite to dance in? What a great, what a great, uh, I think probably the Cotton Club movie. Uh, I really do, because it was the last time Greg and I danced together, and it was the last time Henry Latang, who was our teacher, taught us the routine. And just to do that, again, I'll never forget it. We were down in the rehearsal room, and Henry had us. He was in the middle of us, and he was teaching us this step. Because he, he had to do it in 20 minutes. Francis Kovler said, I want them tapping together. Get a number. And, and Henry did it in 20 minutes. And he had us by the hands. I was on the left. Greg was on the right. And it was like we were little kids again. And we both started to cry, because that's how we started with Henry. You know, So that's really the, the great memory that I have, because it was the last time Greg and I danced together. It was a great memory. Was Henry Latang your teacher? Yes, he was, yeah. Uh, we, we, we had other teachers before him, but when my mother got, uh, my father found Henry, and my mother brought us down, and the minute he saw us, he said, I asked Henry once, I said, Henry, why did you, he had this big school on 44th Street with all these kids, and, and, and he said, I said, what made us all, the, uh, there were a lot of kids that were very good. He said, you know what, what it was? I asked him this years later. Uh, he said, I was teaching the class, and I looked, and your you and uh, Greg were not in the front of the class. You were in the middle of the class. There was all these kids, like maybe 30, 40, 50 kids. And all the kids, I noticed they had stopped dancing in the middle of the room. So it made, they were all looking at you and Gregory. So he called my mother. He said, they got charisma. I'm going to put an act together. He said, the, the dancers stopped to look at them. I, I, he told us that many, many years later. And I said, because I asked him, I said, why did you pick us? He said, because the dancers picked you. They were looking at you, and I was teaching now, the reason I asked the question about w what you like to dance is because most dancers also have a song or a rhythm, especially in tap, that they like to dance to. In music, what do you like to dance to? Oh, uh, well, as far as tap is concerned, I like doing a cappella. I like doing it with no music. I mean, I can star with music. Don't mean to think if it ain't got that swing, of course. It's a great, great number because it's Duke Ellington and, and Billy Strayhorn. But um, no, I, I like a cappella because then I can feel it and, and uh, I just, I, I, I hear it in my, in, my, in my mind. And I'm not a great improvisationalist, but I'm enough to, to feel the music. I'm, mu I'm very musical when I tap. So are you creating your own song while you tap? Yes, exactly. Exactly, and it's an, and and, and it, it differs from show to show or from from night to night, you know. Because if I'm really tired, I kind of slow it down a little. But if I'm really up, because uh, sometimes when you do two shows a day, that second show you're a little tired, and then I slow it down a little. But I still do it, and 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 it, it seems to work. It works for me because it comes from a real place. Of all the people that you worked with, who was the one that gave you the most inspiration? On that King Cole. Why? Well, because he was so effortless. And he had instant rapport. Also, Harry Belafonte. Uh, I like people. I'm, I'm a very, when you see my show, I learned from them. I'm about the audience. I, I'm not them just looking at me. I go to them. Gravy used to say, he said, when we worked together, he said, because Gravy was very laid back. His style was it. He said, I don't have to worry about getting the audience. Maurice will get them. He goes after them. He loves them. He said, and then I can lay back and do my comedy and stuff, but I don't have to worry about getting them because Maurice is going to get them. <laughs> and that's my style, but that's a very aggressive style because I love, I can't wait to see the people. I can't wait. So it comes right out. Now, who were your favorite people to perform with? Oh, um... Well, we worked with a lot of wonderful people. I think uh, we, we did a whole summer with Carol Channing, who was absolutely delightful uh, and a real pro. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, oh, forget about it. I mean, that's on another level. And Judy Garland, those, those three. And Lena Horne, those four were the ones that I was so inspired by. And I loved being around them. I mean, Sammy Davis, we met. We met Mr. Mr. Sinatra, which I talk about in the show, but just once. And he was delightful to us. He was just, uh, those greats are generous, you know. I mean, they just, they, they, there's no ego. See, the greater they are, the less ego they had. That We found that out. But the lesser they are, we found we had problems with egos then. Ah. But the great ones, no ego at all. Just welcoming, welcome. Judy Garland, hey, well, we, we did a number with her, which I talk about in the show. We do a number with them. She said, oh, i got to do a number with them, you know? 
Now, was there anybody that you wanted to perform with, but you never had the chance to perform with? Uh, yes, uh, although I did see her. It was Josephine Baker. I went to see her when she brought her show to the Long Acre. Many years, I was very young. I got all dressed up. I lived in Brooklyn. I got all dressed up in a suit. I, when I think back, I, I bought the ticket myself. I was very young. I sat in the balcony. I never saw anything like it. I said, one day, I just wanted to meet her. And we worked in Paris a lot, Greg and I, and we never got a chance to meet her. Never did. I met her son, Jean-Claude, and it was very nice to me, and but it never got a chance. She would be the one because we met, we worked with a lot of people, you know, in in my life. So I'm very lucky, very grateful that we met those greats and did work with quite a few of them. Now, is there anybody that's alive now that you'd like to work with that you haven't had a chance to work with? Wow, what an interesting, what an interesting question. That excites me like they did. No, <laughs> no, no. I I really no. There's one boy I really like that I think is exceptionally talented. I just wish that he would come into our kind of show business, is Chris Brown. I think he's exceptionally talented. I think he's very unique in what he does. And that in the, in the context of what show business day, I find him original. There's something original about him. I have to see him a few times, you know? But I would love for him to get involved in theater. Because I think that he would grow as a performer because he's really almost there, almost there. But I don't know if he wants to do theater. Theater, theater scares a lot of people. It's eight shows a week. I know. It's you have to be an athlete in order to do that. You really do, and I have the great respect. That's why I love the theater so much because I like working like that. I do. I, 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 uh, Greg and I did. We we did the Playboy clubs. We did five shows a night. <laughs> I mean, so I know what working is. Now that is a torture. Right, and we loved it. We loved it. Yeah. You also mentor tap dancers and bring them into the fold. What makes you do that? Uh, it depends on the dancers. I've always liked mentoring, but I like dancers who are all around dancers. Um, I have nothing against people who do just one thing. But for me to mentor them, I like to see that they, I could, they could do jazz or do African or do ballet or uh, do tap. I like that. That's what inspires me to get with them. And the Manzari brothers who are in the show do everything. They do everything. And all the dancers who do just one thing, I have the greatest respect for. But for me to get inspired, I need that. So you kind of need to have at least a jazz or a balletic background so that you can do the turns with the taps. Yeah. So you have that placement. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, Henry Letang insisted that we take ballet. He insisted. Uh, Greg, we didn't like it, so he got us kicked out of the ballet class. <laughs> but I got, because he liked the tights. He didn't like the, the tights. In those years, they had woolen tights. They itched, you know. So, but then when I got older, I went back to ballet. I did. Now, if there is one thing that you would like our audience to know about you, what would it be? You know, what uh, that I love what I do, but the one thing my mother always said, when they come see my show, she said, I don't care what you do. She said, me and Gregory both. She said, when the audience leaves the theater, you do it, first of all, you do it with class, you do it with respect, and when the audience leaves the theater, they got to say, I had a good time, baby. I had a good time.